In this video demonstration, we are going to see how to install and configure Active Directory to me service with DNS server role in Windows Server 2016 computer. And for this demonstration, we are using Windows Server 2016 Data Center Evolution Edition computer. And the name of this computer is Lab-TC01. We assign a one static IP address 192.168.1.5 to this computer. If we check the Ethernet property, Click on IP version 4, select property. As you can see, I assign a static IP address 192.168.1.5. Now, let's install Active Directory to me service role on this computer. Let's click on dashboard, click on add roles and features. This will open one wizard to install add roles and features. On the web here, you begin console, click on next. Now on the select installation type page, select rule base or feature base installation. And then click on next. On this console, you have to select the destination server on which you are planning to install the server rule. In our case, we are planning to install activity domain service rule on local server. That's why I'm going to select the local server and that is lab-tc01. Let's click on next. Now on this console, we have to select the server rule. And uh, for this demonstration, we are going to install activity domain service. So let's select Active Directory Domain Service. Once you select Active Directory Domain Service, there will be a one pop-up asking for adding additional features that are required by Active Directory Domain Service. It will also ask you to include management tools if applicable. If you don't want to install management tools, you can remove the checkbox. Let's click on Add Features. Now let's click on Next. We do not need any additional features. Just leave it to default and then click on Next. Now here we have a brief overview information about Active Directory Domain Service. Read it carefully and then click on Next. Now click on Install to start the installation process. The Active Directory Domain Service installation process will take some time to complete. Once the process completes, you can start the wizard to promote this server as a domain controller. So as you can see, installation succeeded on our computer. Let's click on Promote this server to a domain controller to start Active Directory Domain Service configuration wizard. Now here, we have a total three options. The first one, to add a domain controller to an existing domain. If you want to promote this server to a domain controller into existing domain, that time you have to select the first box. If you want to deploy a tree domain or child domain, that time you have to select the second box. If you want to deploy a new domain in a new forest, that time you have to select the third box. Now for this demonstration, we're going to create a new Active Directory Forest and we want to deploy domain controller in a new domain. That's why I'm going to select the third box. Now here you have to specify the name of your root domain. In our case, I'm going to specify mprtv.lab. And then let's click on next. Now here we have options to select forest and domain functional level. We are creating a new domain in a new forest. That's why we are going to select the maximum forest and domain functional available in Windows Server 2016. So select Windows Server Technical Preview and uh, select Domain Functional Level Windows Server Technical Preview as well. Now here we have options for domain controller capabilities. Now if you want to install DNS server role as well, that time you have to select the checkbox. And the first domain controller is always global catalog. That's why we cannot uncheck this checkbox. Now here we have to specify the directory service restore more password. Let's specify the password and then click on next. Click on next on DNS options page. Active Directory Domain Service Configuration will automatically verify the domain net bias name. If you want to change, if it is necessary, you can change it from here. We are happy with the default name and that's why I'm going to click on next. Now on this console, we can select the path of Active Directory Database, Active Directory Log Files and Sysol folder. If you want to store Active Directory Database, Log Files and Sysfold folder other than the System Drive, that time you can change this location. But for this demonstration, we will select the default location. Let's click on Next to continue. Now on the screen, you can review your selection. Like we have selected the name of our domain and that is mprtv.lab. We select a forest and domain function level that is Windows Server Technical Preview. And we are installing DNS Server Rule as well. And this server is also going to be a global catalog server. This is the location of our Active Directory database, log files and sysfold folder. You can also export these settings as a PowerShell script to automate installation. 
but uh, in this demonstration we are not going to see that let's click on next to continue now on the screen back to the domain service configuration wizard it is going to check the prerequisites check now as you can see all prerequisites check passed successfully now we can start the installation so let's click on install to start the installation process once activity domain service configuration wizard completes the installation process after that your server will reboot automatically once so after restart let's again log into our windows server 2016 computer let's use controller to delete to sign in now this time you can see here we have our domain name slash administrator because this server is now promoted as domain controller let's specify the password and then hit enter key now once you log into your windows server 2016 computer let's click on start button let's click on add administrative tools now under administrative tools you can see we have active directory management snapping shortcuts are here let's open active directory users and computers console now from this console you can manage your active directory users groups and computers account let's expand our domain name and that is mprtv.lab let's click on domain controllers container now on the screen you can see all your domain controllers for your domain right now we have only one domain controller and that is lab hyphen dc01 that is the local computer let's close this console and uh, let's open tns management console let's select tns and double click on it this will open tns management console expand your server name under for lookup zone you can see there are two for lookup zones available first one is underscore mscs.mptv.lab and the next one is mptv.lab let's create one reverse lookup zone for our dns right click on it and select new zone click on next on welcome wizard on the screen you can select a zone type which you want to create we want to create a primary zone thus i'm going to select the default options and that is primary zone we want to store this zone under active directory database that means we want to create a active directory integrated zone that's why i'm going to select this checkbox as well let's click on next now here you have options for uh, zone data replication like if you want to replicate the data of this active directory integrated zone to all dns server running on domain controller in your forest that time you can select this option if you want to replicate this data of this zone to all domain controller in your domain only that time we have to select this box and that is the by default selection we don't want to change anything on this console let's click on next now here we have options to select ip version 4 reverse lookup zone or ip version 6 reverse lookup zone we want to create ip version 4 reverse lookup zone that's why i'm going to select this and then clicking on next now on the screen under network id you just have to specify the first three octet of your ip address in our case that is 192.168.1 and then let's click on next on the screen we can select a type of dynamic update which we want to use for this new zone by default selected options is allow only secure dynamic updates recommended for active directory and we are not going to change these options right now let's click on next let's click on finish to create a new zone now we have a one device lookup zone for our dns server now let's add a pointer record for our domain controller now as you can see here we have a host record for our domain controller and that is lab hyphen dc01 that means this record is pointing the fqdn lab hyphen dc01 dot mbrtv dot lab to ip address 192.168.1.5 you can update the associated pointer from selecting this but you want to create a manual pointer record that's why i'm going to right click on it and select pointer Click on browse, double click on lab dc01, double click on for lookup zone, double click on your DNS zone name that is mprtv.lab in our case and from this let's select lab hyphen dc01. The pointer record 182.168.1.5 IP address is pointing to host name lab hyphen dc01 dot mprtv.lab. Let's click on OK. OK and now let's close the DNS management console. Now let's open, click on change adapter settings, right click on your NIC, select property, select IP version 4 and click on properties. Now as you can see the preferred DNS server address is now 127.0.0.1 that is the loopback address 
of this computer. We want to change it to 192 1.5 1 because we install and configure DNS server role on this computer as well. So we are appointing this computer to use local DNS server. Let's click on OK. Let's click on close to close this console. And let's close network connection console and network and sharing center console as well. So in this way, we can install and configure activity domain service and DNS server rule in Windows Server 2016. The procedure to install and configure DNS server rule in Windows Server 2016 is similar to earlier version of a Windows Server like Windows Server 2012 or 2012 R2. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.